how to use the test oscillator in Logic Pro X to generate white, pink, or brown noise. We go to our instruments, we go to utility, and we go to test oscillator. This will bring this up right here. We have test tone and we have sine sweep. I'm just gonna stick to test tone for a second and turn this up. You'll hear the white noise, pink noise, needle noise, square, sine. All brown noise really is, is pink noise, but even darker. So it's just the lowest bassy part of the white noise. Pink is middle, white is highs. Now this is good to add sometimes behind stuff. Sometimes it's too clean. You want a little bit of grit, a little bit of noise. So this is where you would go to add some of it back in. You can also automate this, which I'm gonna show you in the next lesson, but there's a lot of uses for it. So if you're like, why do I need this? Why is this here? I'll show you one example in the next lesson. And again, behind a lot of music, when things are too clean, they will add a little bit of noise just to thicken it up and add texture to the sound. That is how to get to and generate white, pink, or brown noise using the test oscillator in Logic Pro X. Next lesson.